and welcome. A new topic in correlation and that is rank correlation. Rank correlation is a very useful contribution by Professor Charles Spearman. We generally believe that in statistics we analyze the quantitative data. But as we have discussed earlier, there are two types of important, there are two types of data. One is quantitative and one is qualitative. And on further study of statistics, we generally start to believe that we analyze or we have to analyze or we need to analyze only quantitative data. That is not the reality. In real life, we many a times come across to qualitative data and need to analyze the qualitative data, need to study the correlation between some phenomena on the basis of the qualitative information. Carl Pearson's method of studying correlation is an excellent effort. But the main thing is, we can use Carl Pearson's product moment method only when the data is of quantitative nature. That means the data have naturally statistical values. But what can we do or what should we do when we have some qualitative measures? We are facing qualitative phenomena like you know, psychologists or some sociologists have to study qualitative data like honesty in case of education of kids, uh, judging beauty and there are so many other things which cannot be expressed naturally with numbers. We can feel them. That means mm, some emotional touch is there. How can we measure beauty of some person in numbers? Though there are some numbers for standardization of beauty, but leave them. In a beauty contest, how can the judges judge about the beauty of various contestants and analyze them? And now say we want to compare the approach of two or more judges toward judging beauty. That means we want to study the correlation between the say judgments of the two or more judges how can we because to study the correlation ultimately we should have some statistics in this kind of cases professor charles spearman suggested the method of studying correlation through rank correlation in which the qualitative measures are assigned ranks that means now there will be numbers or statistics and on the basis of these assigned ranks we can study the correlation very easily through the method suggested by Professor Spearman. Let us study the whole thing through an example and that is ranks given by two judges to 10 contestants in a beauty contest are as follows. That means there were 10 contestants and there were two judges according to their own approach, approaches rather, they have assigned ranks to 10 contestants. And these are the ranks. Now, according to the method suggested by Professor Spearman, we just need to find out the difference between these ranks. And the sign is small d. And there is nothing rank by first judge and rank by second judge. So we need to just take difference. Don't bother about the sign negative or positive because ultimately we are going to take the squared values. 3 minus 6 minus 3, 5 minus 4, 1, 8 minus 9 minus 1, 4 minus 8 minus 4, 7 minus 1, 6, 10 minus 2, 8, 2 minus 3 minus 1, 1 minus 10 minus 9, 6 minus 5, 1, 9 minus 7, 2. And now the last thing b square. Whether number is positive or negative, the squared value is always positive. 9, 1, 1, 16, 